Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 3 of season 2 of Final Hazard. Um, as always, it's me, Lewis, and I'm of course joined by... This time I'm only joined by two people. I'm joined by Matt, of course, and I'm also joined by Martin. Hello. I'm depressed. You guys, you guys sound it. I'm going to turn you guys up, actually. But we are here to talk about a few news things. Nothing too substantial, I would say. Nothing too too big um as you can guess by the title of the episode there's been some recent developments i guess um from beside the fandom that i don't normally know anything about I'm mostly gonna be leaving it up to these guys so <laughs> so do you guys just want to run through i guess the news since we didn't do an episode last week there wasn't really much to talk about. Um, they're still... Who oh. wanna turn off that phone? Turn your phone? I apologize for that. You're getting kicked <laughs> out. No, but... Uh, oh. <laughs> but but seriously, though, there's uh, there wasn't really much to talk about last week. Uh, I'm very tired right now, so... Sorry if that comes through. <laughs> but there is... Um, yeah, there was a few things that happened this week. Uh, so do you guys just want to run through that, I guess? Team yeah, fucking racing. Yeah. Team fucking blue rat racing, um, dropped a few, a few, um, things. Uh, there was a video. Oh, the leak. Apparently there was a, there was a video, or a leaked video, it got deleted by, um, by S Sega? Yeah, Sega, um, deleted the video. Um, and it freed a lot of screenshots and shit mm. from, uh, fro from, like, one of the, from the Frozen Junkyard racetrack. Mm. And then that's, like, and then there's, um, the Japanese Team Sonic Racing website has officially launched. Yeah. Um, they got some new CG renders and some new CG images and, um, those and all those renders that I think got released. This is from last week. Yeah. This is stuff from last week. Um, a lot of the renders are floating around stuff, and we have Jap Japan. I'm assuming these are Japan exclusive on um, pre-order bonuses. Um, we're gonna you're gonna get um the trailer music selection, um, <laughs> which is like Green Light Ride the team gameplay spotlight and like four other songs you also get a better put that shit on spotify exactly um you also get a acrylic key holder set a special racing guide and a digital wallpaper what kind of i don't mean to be rude but like what kind who's really gonna look at that and be like oh yeah digital wallpaper I love wallpapers. You know Nintendo does that I for like the that. the My Nintendo store? Like they have digital wallpapers and it's like look man, I don't have many Nintendo points to begin with. Why do you, why do you think I would spend like 80 of them on this? Well, it's 2000 they they they're living that's like 2006. I know. 2006 some um, kind of marketing like, just... and we haven't and we haven't moved past it. Um but the but like Japan but Japan gets all the shit in their pre-order bonuses, while um, America gets like nothing. Uh, North America gets shit. What did what did what did North America get with their pre-order bonuses for Sonic Forces? A fucking controller skin. Yeah. That's packaged with every new copy of fucking Sonic Forces. Actually, shit's crazy. Huh. I don't um, even remember what the pre-order bonuses for Forces was. It it was. I'm pretty sure it was like just the controller skin and like some DLC. And the, yeah, and some DLC. Um, but um, with the EU, Europe actually got. I know this because um, I accidentally when going to buy Sonic Forces at GameStop, I somehow accidentally stumbled across upon a um, a European copy of Sonic Forces, just mm -hmm. chilling in the GameStop. Um. Europe actually got um, not only 
not only got the the DLC for free, like the Sega pack and shit. Yeah. They also they also got a they also got concept art, little concept art cards and shit. Hmm. Oh. So like we ain't getting shit when I this mean... game comes to the US. Good fuck Americans what? like getting free shit and shit early cuz no offense, but y'all been getting games like I remember. You guys would get fuck it. You guys, you guys got uh, Pokemon like Sun and Moon and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire a clean week before us because it got leaked in France. Yeah. Like the la- X and Y got leaked in France. Like I don't know what it is with America usually getting priority over Europe and then Japan getting priority. I can get I can get Japan, but like you know, there's, uh, there's, I think there's like translation like, things. Aren't there, like, weird translation things? Yeah, but that shouldn't take a week. Like, if the translation stuff was an issue, they... Well, for Pokemon's case, they put all the languages in the game now anyway, for any region. Like, you know, you can play X and Y in Japanese, if you really want. Um, so, so, like, I don't get that. I don't get, like, why America used to get a lot. It's nice that they're at least, like, balancing it out a little bit now. Mm-hmm. Um... I suppose it's only really making up for lost time, but that's, uh, regardless. I still think that, um, they're just trying to push this game as much as they can, especially in Japan, because they know it's not going to do very well. Like, I don't yeah, think, also, I, I think... But they're also shilling, they're also shilling shit at the fucking Sega store, too. That's what I'm saying, though, is, like, they have to, like, otherwise no yeah, one's but do they have, like, a buy... deluxe package. They have a deluxe package that I'm looking at right now that, yeah. like, contains, like, postcards, Sonic vs. Shadow rock glasses and key holders and, and shit. Shit's go crazy. And the shit's, like, being paid is being sold for, like, 10,000 yen. That sounds like a lot. I don't understand it's, yen. It's, it's, it's like, it's like, US. yeah. $93. It's like 93, yeah. yeah. I mean, I suppose that is a lot, really. And and then all and then a lot of a lot of this other shit is just kind of uh, Sonic conventions that we're not going to. Well, do you want to talk about the mobile game a little bit? Because I oh, yeah. I signed up for it or whatever like months ago, and I guess it finally got leaked. But what what is it with Sega not keeping this game under wraps like? We knew they that we knew care. that it existed like five months before it was announced, like at, at, at South by Southwest last year, and mm-hmm. we've known about the mobile game like five months before it's been officially announced, likely to be at South by Southwest this year. So I'm I don't assuming know. I'm assuming that they're doing this all on purpose. They're definitely not leaking stuff on purpose. That's that's like six D chess for Sega. They can't. I, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I'm just I'm just bored about this game. Like, I don't know if it's having to talk about it every week. That's just draining me. But like, there's just nothing. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing to talk about. Um, <laughs> aside from that, it looks okay. See, that's the thing is like when T- when Team Sonic Racing was like announced, I was like, oh, that looks, you know, that looks like fun and cool and whatever. But the fact that there's like no other Sonic news coming out, like other than stuff that's for Team Sonic Racing or the movie, I'm just like, I don't care anymore. And the movie's been radio silent since that yeah, one. Much. Yeah, like they had a big. They had, like, three different posts, or two different posts, and, like, a big explosion of news and a Twitter account, and then nothing. Like, just complete radio silence, as you said. So, I don't know. We didn't get a game last year, did we? Mm, we got Mania Plus. That's not that. That's, yeah, that's not a game. Yeah. That's all we got. Uh... I mean, I guess last year was the best year, despite not having a game ever, because we've had a game every year minus 2015, so that... Well, it was a... Well, I think 
last year was a really good year for other Sonic merchandise. Not the that wasn't games. Uh, yeah, because we got like got the, a, the comics the got a new run. Yeah, the comics got a new run and stuff like that. That's about it. Yeah, that's that's nice, I suppose. And the se- and the Sega store has boom been booming. I mm. guess it took them until about the end of the year to get things in, uh, you know, in Europe, which is as I said before, just typical video game shit. But. Hey, you know, whatever. Um, so I think we're all pretty much in agreement that for South by Southwest, they're going to announce the mobile game, right? They're going to show off the mobile game. Uh, probably, and maybe, if we're lucky, they might announce a new project. Yeah. yeah at least, like, the, the, like, the startings of something would be nice. Hmm. I'm going to play kind of devil's advocate here. I hate using that phrase, but like, why? (sighs) See, I'd rather they show us something that's more concrete. Because when they showed us Project Sonic 2017, um, looked really promising and then it it wasn't. So I really want them to show us something that's at least a lot closer to being finished. I don't, I don't want them to announce announcements. I remember years ago, for um for Smash Bros, they uh, the community set up this this event called Smash Con. It's like a yearly big major with all the Smash games, and um, what they essentially and an, they announced that an announcement was happening there. Oh yeah. And I don't remember anything big coming from it, and it's just stuff like that. It's like why, you know, like chill. It's like when they, it's like when they make a trailers for news like oh you're going to be getting news on this thing in this amount of time yeah i think it's fine when it's like a nintendo direct you know when it's like we have a nintendo direct coming up in the next like four days be fucking ready you know because it's like Mm -hmm. a live streamed like it's almost like an event people you know physically meet up to watch that um those kinds of things so I think it's fine where that's concerned, or where there's like a lot of little things getting announced, or big things. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I will be right back. Y'all can keep talking without me. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I just don't want them to announce like something new if there's not enough there for it. I'm, I'm so down for something new, but like not if they're gonna be like. Yeah, see you guys in three years, you know, type shit. Like they did with Forces. Yeah. Well, Forces was only a year, but still. It was only a year, but... But, like, we got something, like... We got some kind of semblance. That yeah. There was something there. Because they showed us the little the little CG trailer. They gave us that little CG trailer, and then it was like, Oh, hey, this is gonna be sick. And then we saw classics on it, and we were like, uh, hey, it's a big, it's a big, it's, uh, Generations 2. Yeah, which is what everyone Honestly. wanted, and it's what everyone got, and everyone complained about it. But anyway, um, well, you see, I think the thing, I think, I think the thing that helped that is that Mania was also announced, and it was in a much more complete state. I'm pretty sure it was even playable. Like Green Hill. Yeah, there was a there was the there was a demo at the party. Yeah, like they announced like a fully playable demo that was there, and I really really think the like that like if Mania wasn't there, in a world where like Mania didn't exist and Forces only got teased, that would have been a lot shittier. Um, yeah, planning out this entire like big event for Sonic's anniversary and there's nothing to show. Yeah, I suppose the context of the anniversary is different, but. The... They do they do anniversaries whenever they want. Also, welcome back. But they do like anniversary shit whenever they want. So I don't know. I just think that the forces stuff was like helped by the fact that Mania was also announced and playable at the time. Mm-hmm. And I can't get- like unless unless they do something like he is a teasing for a new game. Also, the mobile game is out today. Like that would be something that I could see maybe not happening, but, like, a good idea, you know? Right. But... And I think it also depends on... Do you think the TSR... I also think um, this is going to depend on whether or not 
the TSR mobile game is free. Oh. Free to play. If I have to pay for that, I'm not doing it. If 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 it's if it's a pay if it's a paid game like run the reason why Runner's Adventure failed is it's because it was a paid, paid game. Because it was a paid game. We they I think they need to understand that um I think they understand that free Sonic Mobile games sell more. Yeah. Or or bring more attention because Forces Speed Battle is going crazy and is getting constant updates in development. Yeah. Um, because it's free, and it's in the way how it's set up doesn't really require in-game app purchases for the most part. I think it's that's what game. that's what made Runners kind of suck for me with the little that I played of it. It was very like in-app purchase heavy, and yeah, it, it, was, it was super it was super heavy on it. And that and you know because, that's why it ultimately died because interest well, feigned enough. For them to be like, okay, this isn't worth keeping up. And I got, and I got into runners towards like the end of its life cycle. Yeah. So like, that was when they were starting to be like, hey, here's this free, here's these free um uh, fucking gems or whatever the fuck, uh, go crazy and start using your spins and shit and get all these like cool items. Mm -hmm. Kind of. That's how they. That's how they were running it, at the time for me. You ever realize how like. Sorry to cut you off, but like Runners was the last attempt that they did at keeping Lost World relevant. Uh, Dash still out. No, well, no, Dash doesn't really count. Like, well, Runners Adventure wasn't Lost World heavy, was it? I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. And then obviously Mania and Forces don't have much Lost World reference aside from Zavik in one but fight. Like, but like. They're Dash has um. Dash is still getting updates and shit, and that's really weird in development and shit. Who makes it? Which is, huh? Who makes it? Hardlight. Why are they? Okay, yeah, no. Hardlight is Hardlight is the one who's making every single Sonic Mobile game, right now. It's all right. Now. <sighs> I um, don't. But like Dash like just got like an update mm -hmm. like a while ago. Um. Not too long ago, it was like a few. It was like beginning of the year, I think. But yeah, and that shit got like new characters and stuff. Hmm. Uh, but this shit don't be hitting. So. Yeah. No. I. I don't. I'm not amazingly familiar with any of the mobile games. I just. I mean, see, the thing is with. South by Southwest last year, what did they announce? They announced Mania Adventures, Mania Plus, which in turn relates to Ray and Mighty coming back, which is also pretty big on its own for some people. And mm -hmm. only, <laughs> only you. Uh, the the comics didn't they announce as well? Uh, or had that started by that point? That that had started by that. No 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 no. Like, no, it was a month. It, they were a month away. Uh, IDW okay. started in April. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, I think the thing is that, like, the announcement that the comics were coming back happened, like, literally three days after uh, after Archie had cancelled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, like, with... Well, it was, we, like, just less didn't, we just didn't know who was... Pu we just didn't know who was publishing it. Yeah, but everyone, that was, everyone that was, was pretty sure. That was what they announced sure. in South by Southwest. Right. Hmm. Well, I mean, that's still something for the event, right? And it's, like... There was those three things, and then there was the whole announcement of Team Sonic Racing. I don't really, as much as I love Mania Plus, I still don't really give a great deal about any of those things, but, like, how are they going to top that this year? Like, they can't have a panel, just announce a new mobile game and be like, bye, see you next year, you know? I mean, unless, like we said, unless they're already working on another, like, new project. That they're then going to put along with the mobile game, uh, but even like even that's just like total guess as to whether or not they actually will. Yeah, no, I really, they have to. It ha there has to be something new in any capacity there, whether it's something new in the animation side of it or whatever. I don't know, man. Why don't yeah, they just keep, why don't they just keep like, making just more mini that. adventures? I, like that's that's I'd honestly. I'd be down for a, for a new Sonic cartoon. 
that's like I mean people love like, Mania that's Adventures. not on TV I definitely think that the um that the whatever model that they're going with the like YouTube uploads of the episodes mm -hmm. is really good yeah cause... it's like a really good model for them because we saw what happened to Boom yeah, everybody, everybody found one funny clip from each episode and posted it on Twitter two years after the episode ad. That, that like that's how it is. Because nobody, because nobody was able to watch it. Yeah, it, no, because people, people have lives. You know, people don't. People. Watch no, 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 no. Like it's not even that people have lives. It's that Cartoon Network scheduled it poorly. Well, yeah, and no, that's that's, that's, that's what I'm that, saying. Like that's like, what's happening, and that's what's happening to Mega Man Fully Charged right now. Isn't that shit on, like, 50 episodes or something? That shit's got, like, mad episodes. But, you know, you know what's happening right now? Nobody is that it. it's on fucking... It's on at 6 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> exactly. People, people have morning. got better things to do than watch cartoons at 6 a.m. Kids are... The kids aren't awake. The kids are still sleeping. Kids don't go to school until 9. Who? What, what kid you know is waking up at 6? Me? I, I woke up at 6. Fuck you, Louis. You, you fucking days. go to bed at like. You go to bed at six a.m. You bitch. Yeah, n yeah. Now what? Look, okay. I, I am. I am looking out my window, and I could walk. I can walk to the um to the building that I'm in for the entire day. But obviously, when I when I live with my parents, I had to travel, like an hour and a half every day. I have to wake up at six. So when I was younger, I you know. Like, I'd be waking up at 6, but I sure as fuck wouldn't be watching a cartoon. I'd be eating breakfast and getting my clothes on, you know? It's... No, yeah, if you if you are a kid and you, like, go to school and you have to wake up at 6 to go to school, you're probably, like, a middle schooler, and your school starts at, like, 7.30 or something. Maybe. And, the, and, I mean, at that point, you're probably not going to be watching cartoons. You're going to be, like, scrambling to get ready. I just think yeah, that it's not... I mean, e like, that plays a part in it, but even so, like, if Mania was on TV, nobody would give a fuck. Nobody would give a fuck. Nobody would care. Attention. But when the moment that that video hits... Okay, hold on. Let me go on the Sonic YouTube channel, because this is going to, I guess, prove it. Sonic YouTube. But, like... And another thing is that, like, Cartoon Network just played the same shit during its, like, primetime hours. Yeah. yeah, Cartoon Network plays like the same, the same four shows every day, and, and like, anytime they get a new show, they put it in a really shitty time slot. Six a.m. is the only is the only time you'll see something different from Cartoon Network. But like, being able to watch it is a different thing. Mm -hmm. Hmm. God, like, I just I caught I I, just... I had to. No. Like, I remember back when Sonic Boom started airing, I had to like, I had to fucking put it on the DVR because it was so fucking early. Yeah, that's. <laughs> but like, I'm looking at this now. Like, even the second to last episode of Mania Adventures got 2.3 million views. The first episode got 5.9, two got 3.1, uh, three got 2.4, four got 2.3, five got 1.7. All of the episodes put together, they did like a compilation, has 29 million views. And the holiday special has 2.6 million, which came out a month ago. Which was a whole six months after Mania Adventures had finished. Hmm. So... It's marketable. It's, it's so it's marketable. Good. Like, compare that to literally... Compare that to the fucking live streams, which are like accumulated views, because they're obviously like hour long streams and they only hit like 44,000 you now, know all it's they have to crazy do, now all they have to do is give us I, I want to see a, I want to see a modern Sonic cartoon not I like agree. in the vein of like but I just want to see a modern Sonic cartoon with with voice acting that would be interesting Sonic X and release that on yeah basically I honestly want to see YouTube. I honestly want to see a modern Sonic cartoon without without voice acting because I want to see how those designs do without voices. I've been really I've been a really big pusher of that because I think the the modern designs, in my opinion, I think the classic designs are better, but I like the modern designs more, and I think they're very expressive. Except for Amy, right? Yeah, no, Amy Rose has got a terrible modern design. She's the worst fucking 
character ever, but the the <laughs> I'm serious, dude. I have a big like hate for that character design. It's Someone's so gonna clip that. Do it, fuckers. Like I don't <laughs> do it. Like I hate modern Amy Rose. I will say this so many times. Her design is the least appealing fucking thing I've ever seen, and her character is so zero dimensional that it is insane. But anyway, um, I. Like, there's more Amy personality in the last episode of Mania Adventures than there has been at all in modern. But, f yeah, furthermore, it's just like, I don't know, I think I just really do want, uh... See, the thing is, like, I don't know if I want a modern Sonic cartoon because I think it, it would be better than classic, or because... It would just give modern a little bit more spotlight, which I don't think is a good, uh, is a good reason for me. He just needs some. He just needs something that's not Sonic Forces. He needs something that's, that's not bad. Like that. That's a thing. Though. Like he uh, needs something that's not like not bad and is not inherently linked to Sonic Forces in any way. Because that's what the comics are doing right now. Yeah. Not that the comics are the comics aren't bad, but it's just like everything is a byproduct of the everything that's happening right now is a byproduct of Sonic Forces. I'm like. Uh, I don't care. They were like, see, something I don't get is that they were so, so quick to move on from Lost World and the, the the green aesthetic that they got going on there. Like the only remnants of Lost World now are fucking Windy Hill and Smash oh, Bros. Battle. Not even oh, Windy Windy Hill and Smash Bros. is like the closest thing that we have to like that aesthetic in particular. Like, the closest thing we have. So, and they've been pushing, like, Forces got announced almost two years ago. Well, almost three years ago. Um, and I just think that they need to move on a little bit, and they need to just really think, like, like, what are we doing, you know? And That's I, why I think we need a new project. Definitely. That... Show that gives something new. Yeah. Gives some... I don't know. The Sonic... The way how Sonic promotes itself is so fucking bizarre. Like, their biggest platforms right now are YouTube and Twitter. And I'm not some expert social media manager. But I know for damn sure that they shouldn't be having fucking classic Sonic, modern Sonic, and Boom Sonic in the banner. With new videos every Thursday. They shouldn't be having fucking... Impact font, uh, the dead franchise. impact font thumbnails. They shouldn't be having, like, okay, all of their thumbnails are, like, just the same, like, impact font style, and it's a style, right? Like, I get it. But then some of them afterwards don't have it, and then one of them afterwards does, like, for the, for the streams, they use, like, the shittiest green screen I've ever seen in my life. Like chroma keying, just amateur chroma keying just looks bad. Yeah, no, like, and I don't mean to say that to to be mean, but like, what are you guys doing? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, what? Where's your quality control? You know, like, no, not not, not their, to... because social media is not their focus. Social media may be their biggest push in terms of attention, but that's not their biggest focus. It should be though. It really it should, should be. It should be, but it's not. When you upload a video that gets 29 million fucking views on YouTube, it should absolutely be your biggest focus. And you can tell, and you can tell just by the the pure fucking quality of the graphic design. It's not, it's not good. It's I not I good. will I will pay them for me to make things for them. Fuck it, you know. <laughs> like again, I don't I don't want to stroke like our dicks, but it's like. You know, whenever we set up a stream like this, it's not anything spectacular. You know, it's a few clicks and it's done, but, like, I, I can't look at, like, look like that, at least. yeah, I can't look at a Sonic, an official, like, don't call it the Sonic official, like, when it just, it just looks like ass, like, for real, man. Like, I don't get yeah, how you, yeah, yeah. I don't get how that is on the same, is on the same, like, channel as, okay, I don't get how the Sonic official streams, the Mania Adventures shorts, and Pumpkin Hill 10 hour mix are all on the same YouTube channel. Like, how? Why? <laughs> oh my fucking god. And they have Impact Font. I, I can't stand impact it. Impact Font. 
Now the thing is that they they clearly have like a template that they throw these images and text into for their thumbnails, and yet half the time they don't even use it. Yeah, like I'm gonna put it up on stream slash screen now, so it'll be a uh, it'll be in the vod as well. But holy shit! Like, let me grab an image. Like I don't I don't get it. Like maybe there's something I'm missing, but like. Really, they should like look at the look at the stream. Like, really, they should be not doing this. Like, the the thing that bothers me as well is like a lot of it is Team Sonic Racing OSTs, and then there's just two Team Sonic Racing videos that aren't like that, that. don't have the thumbnail style. Yeah, it's like, did you guys forget? And for a second, it almost looks like they decided to ditch that thumbnail style, but then they go back to it for the Big Arms remix. Which isn't even, like, related to Team Sonic Racing. But what they did is they went back and changed the thumbnails for, like, the Pumpkin Hill shit. And it's like, what are you guys doing? Like, what, what's the purpose here? What's the idea? Like, because, like, I don't get their social media. I don't get it. Because, like, it's so, like, this as well is so at odds with, like, the, the jokey, like, Twitter that is just not at all, like... I was one similar. So, I've been wondering why I've been getting ads. What on Twitch? Yeah, and I'm like, where's my prime? Oh no! <laughs> where's, where's my prime? You lost your sub. Yeah, no. I feel like they just forget that. Um. Like I, I don't know. The, the Twitter seems fine. I know a lot of people complain about the Twitter because they hate Aaron Webber and how he he's a funny man and I like him. I just don't think he's amazing as a social media man, but who am I to judge kind of thing, you know? He let him rock. He's doing a good job. Um, I just don't... I, I just don't get what they're doing. Like, I just don't get it. And I think that if they really wanted to make, like, an animation at South by Southwest... I realize we've gone hardly off topic, but, like... If they wanted to make something do well at South by Southwest, like animation wise, they would like push the fuck out of like that YouTube, you know? I just don't understand. It does kind of feel like they don't really care though, as far as YouTube channel goes for like as a social media uh, focus. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like that. They're, 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 they're doing great things. I just think that they're not handling it right. And again, I don't. I hate saying stuff like this because it's like, oh well, you know, you guys got two hundred Twitter followers. Who are you guys to to talk? You know. And I I really do think that it's like. It's important to have any. I think consistency is the big thing that they need. You know, mm -hmm. like any sort of consistency. It doesn't matter if they use impact font, fucking thumbnails. You know, just. Use that for now, stick with it, and see what comes. Because it's like, I'd and rather that stick than... Stick with it than don't. Like, don't just randomly use it occasionally then. Yeah, no, because it's just like... Like, oh. what am I looking at? Like, I'm just looking at the stream and I'm just confused. Uh, I see what happened. More with the Prime? Work, I'm... I'm gonna I'm gonna work this out in like a minute. <laughs> All right. Um, oh. Boy. I see. I think the thing is is like color coding as well, because like all of those things with the thumbnail are Team Sonic Racing related, except for the Pumpkin Hill, like on the bottom row. Actually, but, be right back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, like on the bottom row, there's just the Pumpkin Hill, and then the rest are Team Sonic Racing. But you wouldn't fucking know that off of a very first initial glance because they're all different colors as well like colors are super important when it comes to thumbnails and like a, a, like a like a video list like this you know because mm -hmm. like natural my, my eyes are drawn immediately to the two red thumbnails right but they're, right. they're they're songs for two completely different things one of which is just a remix from mania adventures which by the way has their own style of thumbnail like i don't which also is just a, a number inside of a yellow circle. Which it, so again, not to shit on their graphic design, 
graphic design is my prison. Yeah, it's that's what it feels like with the ring on the right. <laughs> Stop. Like, Save me. Someone, someone get Azuka out of that. But I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of upsetting, really, because they like again. It wouldn't bother me if they didn't have so much fucking potential. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm, I'm scrolling through their Twitter now, and like, 23rd of November, 2018. Don't go outside today, it's crazy out there. Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces are on sale digitally on the PlayStation Store, Microsoft Store, and the Nintendo eShop. And the graphics they're using are Sonic Runners graphics with Black Friday in Sonic Runners text. Like, like what the fuck? Like, that game is literally dead. What are you guys doing? God. I have no idea about like any of the mobile games, honestly. Like I didn't, I didn't play any of them. I play Sonic Dash at the arcade, like every every once in a while, and that's it. Because mm. they have like an arcade machine there for Sonic Dash. I don't even know. It's just. <laughs> a mess. I, like, there's just so much going on. Like, I'm scrolling down this, this timeline, and I just don't... I just don't get it. They'd be making, the, they be making like, the big, the big like, cross, like, franchise jokes with, like, Pokemon and Mega Man. But they can't hire a graphic designer there with, like, much of any consistency. Like, that sounds so mean, but, like, it's... <laughs> it's just, like, fuck me. And, like, the, the Team Sonic Racing, like, character announcements are just, like renders on a background like what are we doing like what's going on we're not doing anything no they're doing something they're just doing a bunch of things doing it poorly yeah i don't know but um yeah so for south by southwest it could be fucking anything at this point i really do think um so yeah, do you guys want to talk about Ken Penders? Because there's been... I, again, I'll preface that I probably won't be talking much here because I don't know a lot about Ken Penders. I don't... I know that he's had some trouble, uh, to say the least, in the past, but you guys might have to take it from here because I don't know shit. Oh. Um, oh. Huh? No. Um, I'm sorry. You um, good? I'll 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 focus on that later. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. It, um that's bad. Oh. Um anyway. Anyway. Uh, fuck. So Ken Oh Fenders. yeah, Ken 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 Fender Bender. Okay. Uh <laughs> Ken Ben Benders. Ben so, I don't know if, like, who wants to start off, or if we want to start off with some background or something on this. Again, um, like, so, like, I don't know okay. much, so you guys are gonna have to Okay, so take I'm gonna... Away. So basically, um... There have been... So basically, like, fucking, uh... Ken Penders, uh, former writer for the Archie Sonic comics, uh... Re back in like 2010 sued Archie because he was tight okay yeah what was um, he upset basically... over he was upset because i guess he thought at first he thought Sega was 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 infringing on his like work basically with... it i don't want to like it insert myself into this but like Basically, what happened is that three years after Sonic Chronicles came out, Ken Penders got mad because he thought that the Sonic Chronicles characters resembled his like knuckles extended family that he put in that he had put into the Archie comics. Wait, he Knuckle, wasn't even wait, right. wait, Knuckles is a family. Okay, <laughs> so. Oh no! See, this is why I leave this stuff to you guys. This sounds dangerous. I don't. Ew, I don't want. It's it's a big old it's a big old mess. I can so, tell, uh, yeah, holy shit. So, hold up, I got, I actually have right here on my desk, the Sonic Comic Encyclopedia. Let me just flip this open. Oh my so, god, you brought the research. 
Oh, I have I have like fifteen different books on my desk right now. So basically, Ken Penners was a, was a writer for the Archie Sonic comics. Like when they around the time they first started, like from issue eleven until he got kicked off in in one if you one fifty nine. That was the last issue that he wrote for. He kind of became like the runner, like this the 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 comic runner. He was the main writer and in, introduced a lot of new characters and stuff. Uh, during that period of time mm -hmm. like the the characters that people think of the most are like scourge and... oh he made him well okay at the time before he got kicked off scourge was not known as scourge scourge was just anti-sonic he was evil sonic okay but scourge still ugly as fuck like oh yeah i he and... i okay no hold on i gotta sorry to cut you off but like <laughs> I gotta really, the... I gotta get him up on the screen. Get him I up hate the screen. this get him over there. fucking. Oh, people love Scourge though. I know people love him. They're it's, that it's crazy. Really okay, I I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put this out there, right the fuck now. Add image. I'm gonna put this out here right the fuck now. This is not a good character design. This. Scars on his chest, gloves, spiky <laughs> boots, Guy Fieri the Hedgehog have an ass? Nah. Now, that is not, I will say, that's not Ken Pender's fault. That's a result of them not knowing what to do with him, and then making him into a whole new character by having... <laughs> by having him, like, absorb Master Emerald power, and then Knuckles' dad scratched him on the chest. That's so stupid. What, what? What? Okay, where does the Guy Fieri jacket come from? Like, where does the Flavor I, I, Town shit come from? That. What? He's that, always that? had that. And the sunglasses. He's always had them. Why does he have those? He he's ugly as shit, man. I <laughs> I hate Sonic the Hedgehog. Fuck this series. But continue. Okay, so he also brought in characters like Jeffrey Jeffrey Saint John, who's this like skunk. Bitch. The skunk who fucks Sally Acorn. And yep. Sally Acorn <laughs> fucked him. Yeah, um, the skunk who, the skunk the skunk who fucked me. <laughs> and, dirty, dirty fucker. And uh, oh, he introduced this whole he really for some reason loved Knuckles. Like he was super into Knuckles the Echidna as a character. I love Knuckles, so, he's great. No yeah, Knuckles is great. But the way that he went about this was that he seriously like tried to make this huge backstory and there's this entire series there's a whole series of comics that are knuckles the echidna comics and there's i think it started off as like a mini series and then just went haywire and now there's like way too many mm -hmm. and isn't it's like all a, like isn't it like a hundred plus issue mini series or so spin off? I, I i don't i'm not 100 percent sure on how many issues there are i'm actually gonna look that up right now oh whoa. Uh, Knuckles the Echidna, Echidna comics. How many are there? Thirty-two. There's thirty-two. Oh. So it's not that many, but that's still oh, a lot. But then they, yeah, out of the oh, and then I remember now. From like it's late nineties like like, into two thousand. Aren't like the physical books were like up to thirty-two or something like that? Yeah. But then like, it continued as like a back issue, still written like. Like, Penders was still writing in the books up till like, 2006, 2005. He, he really liked to sort of keep this uh, extended backstory for Knuckles going. And he would occasionally, like, insert little things about it within other issues of the comic. Like, while other shit was going on. Mm. And basically, Knuckles has, a, Knuckles has a whole fucking family. And it's he's... They're an so... Family. An extended family. There's so many echidnas. There's, and he has a girlfriend. Wait, isn't the and... whole point of his like character though in like Sonic that he's like the last of his kind? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. But that and that's wasn't why like it drives me crazy. I mean, but, like, was that established like in Sonic Three? I don't remember. I mean, in Sonic Three, he's the only one on the island. Like he's, it's pretty and, obvious that he's the only one living there. Like there's nobody else, you know. Yeah, and it's sort of an implied thing that Knuckles is just alone. Like he's a lonely guy. He doesn't have anyone else. 
yeah. there with him. He doesn't know where he's from. He doesn't know what his deal is. He just knows that he has to take care of the chaos, of the master emerald, and that's, that's he's Australian. No, he's Jamaican. Anyway, wait, but <laughs> <laughs> fucking but... down under. I, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I hate this book. But basically, actually, Knuckles isn't alone. He has many family members. He has a whole. There's a whole echidna clan, of 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 like other echidnas, and they all look like Knuckles, but they're not. You got. Hold up, I'm actually gonna send you this image because I think it's really funny, uh, and you can just like, you can put it on stream if you want. Oh, but no. you got like, <laughs> Clockwork Orange Knuckles, Yoda Knuckles, Dominatrix Knuckles, Cyborg Knuckles, Girl Knuckles. <laughs> Eyebrow knuckles. Oh my, there's so many oh, of them! <laughs> there's like so a fucking cool. image with like all of them, like every single individual design. I wonder if I have that on. Oops. I wonder if I have that in. It's ridiculous. It's like what is this? Alright, let me let me go through these. So you got like. Oh, there's a whole. Oh my god, I just, I just noticed this. <laughs> there's in this, um. It's like in this book that I have in front of me right now. There is. A like, there's like a family tree, and like oh, that yeah, that's the one. The characters. The one. <laughs> Gay knuckles. Oh, Gay knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> there's like they didn't even bother to list all the echidna characters in this Archie Sonic encyclopedia because there's so many and it doesn't make any oh, sense. That's Sonic. They yeah. don't need to be here. Like you got Knuckles' dead dad and shit. You got. Um, oh my god, what's this? Uh, you got Thunderhawk. You got- they- and a lot of them have, like, really weird, like- <laughs> They're, like, tri- they're, like, really weird, like, tribal-esque names. Yeah, because occasionally uh, you like... have stuff like Spectre and Hawkwing, but then you have Janelle Lee and Lara Yeah, too. yeah, there's, like, a- there's, like, this thing where, like, it's, like, the- the hi it's, like, a regular fucking, like, person's name. And then hyphen Sue, Sue or hyphen Lee Lian or da. da or hyphen Da. Fucking oh my god! Basically, <laughs> all the da. all the female echidnas have like dashes in their names, and all the male echidnas don't, and they just have like normal ass names or stuff like Hawkwing or Athair or Saber. Saber. Like Lock. I would like be rocking with it if like they were all like, you know, Mayan names. Like how they are in the fucking, like how the fucking echidnas in SA one are based off of like ancient Mayan society, Aztec shit. See, I like, I like that, but only because they all fucking look the same, and there's not a million and one different designs of them. Mm -hmm. But those are all knuckles. The, their <laughs> their entire base template is knuckles. Yeah, they all just look like knuckles, except some are pink. Uh, yeah, no, like some of them, like, the, like, and you know, I like the fact that Takal is different because her role is different. You know, I like the fact that, um, the fucking elder guy. I, I don't even want to begin to pronounce his name because it sounds stupid anyway. But I want to say. Also, Lewis. By the way, uh, Dominatrix Knuckles in that one picture. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one echidna that fucking um uh, Ken Penders drew foot fetish um shit. Of and posted it on Twitter. Oh my god. Are we going there? Have... Are we going to attack Ken Pe No, like, honestly, I've heard so much, like, bad shit about this guy. Like, I don't... Like, what is his deal? Like, what? Why? Why? Okay, why does he want... Why does he care about all these fucking echidna shits? Basically, when Sonic Chronicles came out, he was... Ups it, actually, like, three years after it came out, I think he may have like just figured out about it or some shit like that. He didn't. He never actually cared about the games or anything. Like he he clearly never played any of them. <laughs> like yeah. if he did, he like just played enough to get the base idea and then completely just didn't care. Uh, but he after Sonic Chronicles came out, he filed a lawsuit against Sega and EA. And said that the the Echidna Clan in the game, I, they're like I don't remember what their name is. I didn't play that game. Um, he said that it was too similar to his like Knuckles Clan that he had made when he was the writer for this for the Archie comics. 
Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Is that the one with? Oh, because the fucking because the fuckers in the in the goddamn comics were like the Dark Brotherhood or some shit. Yeah, they're called like the Guardian, the Brotherhood of or some shit like. That. Well, uh, okay, is that because I didn't get too far in Chronicles because it sucked, but like, did um, is that the one with like Shay? Yes, that's her name. She doesn't look like yeah, any that... of these. Like she, she doesn't is, look like she have like a, a suit also. Is she like black? I don't know. That's like, why she. That's why. That's why they haven't brought her back. So they literally can't bring her. They're not allowed to bring her back. So yeah, wait, did this bitch win? He lost. He, he lost, lost. What they he said. Lost, we're but... never touching Chronicles. Anything about Chronicles ever again. Yeah, they because said it's... no Chronicles characters can ever be used in the future, or he can try to sue again. What and I think a... it's because a little bit earlier, but around the same time, he was trying to do his uh, his own like Sonic comic that he where he used characters from Archie, the Larisu Chronicles shit. He wanted to make his own Knuckle. He wanted to make his own Knuckles spinoff. Why yeah. though? Knuckles is like I mean I love Knuckles as a character, but he's such a boring slate. No, to... no, he, Knuckles would never be in it. That's the thing. It was it was only focused on the Echidna characters that he had brought into the comics, which are like the main character was Knuckles' daughter from the future. That's who Larry Knuckles Sue would is. never fuck. That's a I no, don't believe that. No, no, he has a girlfriend. Her name is he Julie. Has a girlfriend in the comic. She's pink. Julie Sue? Hold on. She's pink. <laughs> if you look her up, you'll see her. She's pink. Oh, you'll find She's the worst white girl. Shit. You'll you'll find you'll find terrible shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Curtain, save search on, please. Okay, she doesn't Julie actually. Sue. See, she doesn't look that bad. Like, I don't have a big pro. I'm the, getting she, she off looks... this page. But I, I don't she... really like her. Like, why she's here though? Like, the whole reason she's here is to be Knuckles' friend. Yeah, she does. She does look like Knuckles is. Is this a real picture? Hold on, I'm gonna send you this. This in the chat. <laughs> oh, I will immediately be able to tell if it is or isn't. Loading. Oh, yep. That's, that's real. fucking real. That's, that's fucking real. real. Why does Knuckles look like that? Look at Mighty. Because that's how Ken Pender's draws. <laughs> look at Vecta. I know it was like <laughs> Knuckles like chaotic. Eating her face. Look at Mighty's fucking. Someone, the proud father. Who the fuck is the Swan? I haven't gotten this far. I don't recognize some of these. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh my god. But like, okay, his odd is ugly, but yes, very. She doesn't look horrible. Okay, I don't like the fucking big ass ponytail that she seems to have in some of these. But like, I, I don't know. She doesn't look awful. She's I okay. Yeah, I don't she's around. No, she's was around a, a lot more. She's I, like yeah. on. She's on the pages more. So like. Like, yeah, they kept like, her around after like this. Like, like this odd that I'm sending to you guys now. Like this looks good. Like, yeah, I, I like that. She, she, she's fine looking, and as a character, she's okay. But I don't really, again, I don't really like the reason she exists, which is just to be Knuckles' girlfriend. But yeah, basically, Lara Sue chronicles about Knuckles' daughter from the future. Uh, why and, from the you know, future? Why? Because, because Knuckles basically... is like seventeen. <laughs> but in there's a whole arc in the Archie Sonic comics that's like twenty five years later from the current, like, continuity. And uh, they have a daughter, and her name is Lara, and she babysits Manic and Sonya, who are Sonic and Sally's children. Wait, I thought they were yes. the, uh, I thought nope. they were his brother and sister from that shitty... They reuse the names, but they they're two the names. different characters. That's just point, that's stupid. That's just stupid. dumb. It's very dumb. It's very stupid. So wait, Sonic fucks Sally? Yes. Yeah. Sonic is king now. There's a... <laughs> There's a monarchy! They live in a monarchy, Louis! I'm so glad I stayed away from this stupid shit. Do you know all that? <laughs> wait, what year did all this shit start happening? Like, what year did the monarchy oh start? What year? What year? The monarchy was fucking... The monarchy was always there, but Eggman fucking turned it into a fucking, a fucking dictatorship. 
Eggman was dictator. Of okay, years. what year in terms of like real life, like when this came out? Like, what year did Sonic fuck? Like, I need to know the context. What behind. year did Sonic fuck? Yeah, like what um, year did he get it? My gosh, let me think. It was about. It was. It was at least. Thir it was at least after the twenty-five years later arc or whatever. No, yeah. no, like no, no, second, no, 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 like no, 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 no. Like, when did it come out in real life? Like two thousand. Like, hold up. That I'm, arc I'm came out like two thousand, like ten or whatever. What? I think it was after the. I don't fucking. Well, remember. here's the thing. They they ha they would have, um, like flashes to it in the main, but the actual separate arc itself came out in like late two thousand. Like 2010. Okay, so oh, no, there this was, is there after like this art. is after they, Unleash they Colors. They, they had was, so many. They had so many. They had so much time to think about how bad of an idea this was. They had so much oh, time. Oh, Why we does he? Even got, she's we been even in a skunk. Oh my god. We I haven't. Hate. We haven't gotten into the deeper reasons. <laughs> oh boy. Who really was? Um, I just but no, but like, hold on. I just don't. I, 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 I like, I don't get it. Like, why? But, but like, here's the thing. Going back to the Lara Sukul shit, is like Ken Pender is for some reason really like these characters and wanted to use them in his own comic thing. But the thing is that those characters didn't belong to him at the time. Like he wrote them for the comics. Mm. They're they, they they're Sega's property. They, yeah, they, they, they were Sega's property. I wouldn't want to own that. Part. Holy shit. But Archie you you wanted... wouldn't want to own that, but they're Sega's property. Yeah. So I'd be like, can you keep it? And he had just that. lost a legal battle with Sega. Because, like, this... And... Like, my Sonic fucks? Like, this is embarrassing. Like, I did... Sonic is king and he fucks. Like, what the shit? <laughs> he fucks... Oh, <laughs> I just saw, like, the cover art, and he's got, like, a dumbass crown on. <laughs> Why is Knuckles a cowboy? Oh my god! Whoa, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get so tight. I'm gonna get so. What is this? Mad. What is? You see that? You see that design of Knuckles with the with the cowboy hat, bro? In the fucking robot eye. You Wait, see? I didn't even notice the ro. <gasps> that's fucking. Yeah, that's fucking. That's Knuckles, right? That's Knuckles, right? That's not Knuckles, is that, it? That's not. That's Knuckles over there in the fucking in the fucking left. The with the left. boots, with the fucking boots and shit, with that with that trash ass fit, that's <laughs> knuckles, right? Why does Ken Penders own that design? No, it's garbage. He can and, keep it. He can he keep has it. A fucking goatee, and he gave Knuckles a fucking goatee, and he owns it. I fucking hate. Mm. Oh. Sorry, this is. You you guys know I was like. In on this shit for years, so seeing people react to it is so fucking. Why crazy. didn't you tell anyone? Why didn't you <laughs> let anyone know? <laughs> because it's getting this there. So still. bad. It's really bad. Also, really. Who funny. gave the echidna's boobs? I don't like this. Oh, but you want? But you want to know something kind of interesting? Uh, never, Do I? He he never gets married. He he and Julie Sue are just soulmates, but they never get married. But they do fucking kid so he had a child out of wedlock <laughs> oh my god knuckles is a sinner <laughs> i mean i could have told you that who would fuck knuckles like this, this brings anymore. up so many questions no 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 they do get pink, married pink what knuckles. what is what is this no, picture they're, then? they're not married what is this picture what that picture? i just found what? Send me the picture. What is this? Those are two different characters. Those are not, That's not Fuck Knuckles. You. Knuckles characters. Knuckles is in the background. That's, Don't that's you see? How am I supposed to know this? That's all oh my. Okay. There's, Knuckles exactly, is they in the background. The There's literally a, and a... <laughs> Why Knuckles are... is right there in the background, Lewis. <laughs> you got you got four characters on that exact picture that look the damn same, and you know it. Perhaps you can see in the top corner. Knuckles is right there in the background. Knuckles is the only one that doesn't wear clothes. Sorry, what? What is his dad's name? What's his dad's name? Pronounce that for me. Okay, that's not his dad's name. That's that dad. I think Windmacher is that why I always. Windmate. Ah yes, Windmacher the echidna. Hold on, I'm sliding over into my shelf. 
No, I'm Knuckles' his dad's name is too. Give me a minute. <laughs> Give me a minute. Oh, oh, this is so fucking good. This is I amazing. Have... The first one that I find is Sonic the Hedgehog, issue 179. Um, <laughs> where it's fucking <laughs> Sonic ripping up a wanted poster for of Tails, and, it's, and it says Enemy of the State. <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember that arc. Oh my god. Did they just go to America? <laughs> that's the one where, like, that meme that's recently been circulating around is like Sonic, uh, Sonic Cup Tails. Um, yeah. See, you know, I don't really care about the IDW comics, and I didn't really think much of them, but if this was what you guys had to put up with for, like... Because, Martin, you know, I watch your series. I mean, I obviously do before I upload it, but I watch it, you know, I rewatch it and whatever. Um, by the way, anyone who else who's watching Martin talks about this uh, on this channel as well with our other series, but, like, why... Like, I thought this... it would go, I thought it would get better, not worse. Like it you, got you better after they after um the lawsuit. Oh, it does get better. I will say it does get better after Ken after Ken after he's like just just gone. It's it does oh like God. take a turn for the better. And then after the reboot, you know, it it does like kind of improve in terms of like. Oh. Yeah. Guess what? Knuckles doesn't have a stupid fucking girlfriend who's just pink knuckles and they fuck. Like, wait, like Knuck Knuckles can get it, that's fine, like, that's- wait, not like that, but, like, Knuckles can get some, <laughs> I guess. But, like, that's- that's not the- the problem that I have with it is, like, why? Like, why- like, for what- for what reason? I because, don't- I don't- again, I, do, it's- Ken Fender's just I'm really trying like- to find this one specific issue. I'm trying to find the issue where Knuckles' dad dies, and all oh. my comics just fell on the floor. Um... <laughs> Yeah. Now I have to fix that. Oops. Where, where did I buy these comics at? Where did I get these? <laughs> but, um, don't, but don't people like Sonic because he run fast? What's with all this Knuckles fucking shit? Like, I don't... <sighs> but that's why the lawsuit happened. It's because there was more Knuckles shit, and he was like, Oh, Echidna Clans. You can't, you can't have that. You can't have a group oh, of yeah, one set of characters? That's my thing. No, you can't. It's not allowed. I made that. I created that, you bitch. I created Knuckles! Oh, wait, that's there's what- more. that's what fucking- I, I And I that. thought- and I honestly thought that a character called fucking Bunny Rabot was stupid. But like, this is like- Bro, he tried to buy Knuckles. Like- <laughs> Wait, who? He tried to- What, Pendas? He tried to- he sued. He, he sued and tried to get the rights to Knuckles. You fucking... Knuckles is like the most boring character. Like I'm s compared to like Tails and Sonic. Like, who the fuck is like who bought this? Like who? Who in the nineties bought this? Oh, like what? Who? A... Who supported this? Because there's no way they would have gone this far with like. Is this why the current fan base is like all weird furries? Like, is this why? Yes, I can confirm. Yes. This is why. Because they want to fuck Knuckles' girlfriend? <laughs> or his daughter or whatever. Fuck this. But so, continuing on, because there is more. Um, <sighs> because he was making Dolores Sue Chronicle shit, Archie didn't want him to do that because those are Stigas characters. So then there's another lawsuit. And during that trial, they needed to provide his contract saying that the characters belong to Sega and they couldn't do that because the warehouse that was holding all the original con that was holding all the original contracts burned down so he won and he that's why he's allowed to make the Larisu Chron is because they couldn't provide his contract saying that all the characters that were in that belonged to Sega and pretty much that except is like except for Knuckles right except for Knuckles but like all of his original Knuckles. characters that he, he wanted, wanted to use. He so, wanted Knuckles, but he can't use them because that's like obviously not his. So basically know? what we have established here is that we lost nothing of any value and we kept Knuckles, which is how it should have been from the fucking beginning. But, but, then, at, but at the we same... also lost 
hundred. We also lost almost ten, ten years of lore, from, from the the Sonic comics that everybody loved, for the most part. Yeah, everybody who liked this, who honestly, I'm sorry. The people, the the kids who grew up with it, Lewis. I grew up with Sonic Heroes. That game, some mid. Like what? I, I don't. Oh, now he says it, you piece of shit. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I just don't like this. It makes me so uncomfortable to think that, like, this is a thing that exists. Like, why? And the thing is that because of all those lawsuits, Sega then put it, then started putting, like, limitations on what you could and couldn't do in the comics with Sonic. So Sonic, you know, he can't have any more romantic relationships with people. He, Good. Uh, all of the relatives are gone. You can't, like, Sonic doesn't have parents. Um, you can't show too much emotion. And it's just like, there, there's like a bunch of limitations that Sega Archie Comics after that, like for the reboot, that is like, you, th these are the guidelines you have to stick to now because we don't want this to happen. Oh, guys, I found it. I found the issue where Knuckles' dad dies. Um, I thought, oh wasn't it 160? God. It's, it's uh, 184. Oh, okay. All right, 160 is the one where he, he fights Scourge. Oh, oh, uh, great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, more Scourge? No, I have 165. <laughs> Scourge is in this issue, too. Uh... See, like, I, I look at Scourge, and it's like, nobody, it's, like... Could you imagine, like, if Yuji Naka saw this? <laughs> like, like, could you imagine? Lewis, I just, I want to read you the, um, the, the, the official solici solicitation for issue 184. Because... It's just a mess, okay? The thrilling conclusion to Enerjack Reborn. The, the world has been ravaged by Enerjack, and now it's up to Supersonic to stop his onslaught. But when even Supersonic isn't enough, who will make the ultimate sacrifice to stop Enerjack and save Knuckles? The exciting answers lie within anything. Witness Leanne, her most desperate, making a dark deal to regain her power. But will there be a dastardly catch? The catch is that it sucks. Uh, yep. wait, Seth, see, that's what I imagined the emotional, like, restraint would have been, because I've seen those different pictures, there's a lot of them, of Sonic just fucking crying his eyes out from the fucking yep. comics. I'm glad no, no more of that, please. I once made a thread that was just full of screen caps of Sonic crying in the comics. Yeah, there's like a, there's like a beta of, like, one of the Sonic, like... Mobius, twenty-five years later, fucking comic books, um, and it's like Sonic. They find Sonic, who's now like a fucking, who's oh. living in the fucking slums. He's supposed to be dead. <laughs> He's supposed to be dead, and then they're like, they're like, what, what the fuck? It's me, Sonic the Hedgehog. He should have stayed <laughs> dead. Fuck this. Um, exactly yeah, I found the that. issue where Knuckles' dad died. Um, he dies. No offense, but good. Um. Oh yeah, his dad's name was Lock. Was no, was what? Lock? Lock. Yeah, Lock. Cock. Lock. 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 L O C K E. I'm tired and, um, of this, man. And in the process of trying to save Knuckles, after Knuckles gets possessed by some evil fucking echidna spirit. After after Knuckles gets possessed by an evil echidna spirit, um. Uh, yeah. Fuck. Uh, Knuckles' dad dies mm -hmm. because he gets absorbed by... His life force gets absorbed by the... the fucking Master Emerald. It's pretty... It's pretty crazy. Yeah. It's pretty stupid. So... My question is... Why? Like, why? Like, why? And then also... Like, and... why can we just have Sonic, Tails, maybe Sally? I don't mind. But, even though I hate her, but like, why... Like, why... Why do we need, like, these 40 Knuckles? Like, what's what's the point? Like, what do these characters add? What, you don't oh, never mind. Uh, Dr. Finitivus? Oh, never mind. For, for what? For... Dr. Finney? 
Dr. Phineas? Fucker! I fucking hate that fucker! Dr. What's his name? Dr. Phineas? What? I don't. Finitebus? Fin. Fuck. Fuck. Finny Fun? I don't fucking know. Dr. Fin. Dr. Finite vs. X Reader is the first thing that comes up. Because he's sexy. Don't you want to that? No. No one can pronounce his fucking name, and I hate him. How are you gonna fuck somebody <laughs> with a name that you don't even know? That's crazy. No one can pronounce his fucking name. He's a fucking bitch. Doctor Finny hate... Titties. That's right, Seth. I don't. <laughs> oh, Knuckles tosses him off Angel Island. That's a good. That's a good set of panels. I like that. Except for the fact that Knuckles looks like he's having a stroke. But hey. But like, I don't yeah. discriminate. So basically, but but like, what what really like transpired and why we're talking about like Ken fuckers um today is that Archie has recently filed motions for summary judgment in the Pender's case. They're just re bringing it up again. Yeah, because basic because you know. Penders basically fucked them over. Um, Penders is the reason why Archie lost the license. Um, that's why it's at IDW now. That's why Sonic's with IDW now. And they're also... And also the reason why... Um, and basically, Archie would have had to, like... For the use of hundreds of Penders characters. Penders made hundreds of characters for the comic books. Yeah, um, like out even outside of the even outside of the knuckles the knuckles fucker. extended family. There's like, there's like random like uh fucking like freedom fighters and shit like that. But like to me, this just seems like only like a good thing that he that that lawsuit happened because yeah, it's a good it's because, a good, it was because, a good thing for the because honestly like, I know people like Sally fucking Acorn and Antoine question mark. But, like, they're ugly, they're gross, like, really, like, from what I've seen from the IDW comics, though, is, like, like, that, though, they're just better, you know? Yeah, they're better, but, like, we've, but, like, people, like, are connected to those characters, and they got, like, and they had to be written out of the canon. They had to be written out of existence. And I'm sure people were connected to, like... A, yeah, people, uh, yeah. people. Yeah, people liked him. Yeah, and Penders' lawsuit also caused another another creator to go and like sue Archie as well, and he took about a hundred characters with him as well. So oh my God, and one of those characters had a developing storyline in the comics before the Mega Man crossover happened. <laughs> before the Mega Man crossover happened, yeah. so like they had to like say. Oh, we have to reboot now, basically. Pretty much the entire reason the Mega Man crossover was able to happen in canon was so that they could reboot the series and get rid of all Ken Parrish characters. And the other guy. I don't remember his name. And the other guy, name. yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. remember his name either. But he made Mammoth Mogul. Um... Mammoth? Okay, let me look up a picture. Yeah, I don't... Mammoth Mogul. The Immortal Elephant. Mammoth. He's just a big-ass mammoth. He cursed Mina Mongoose. Why is he wearing like, a fucking, like, Alpha One type suit? Like, what's going on? Who the fuck is Lord. this? He's just ugly! <laughs> like, why would you fucking yeah, actively make a character like this? Fuck you. But basically, Archie fought, and then, like, yeah, Archie filed for motions of summary and judgment in the Penders case or whatever. And Archie's counsel said that no rational jury could find Penders in favor, basically. Could you imagine being on the fucking jury looking at that shit? Like, could you imagine how embarrassing that would be? Being like, this is my, being like, this is my called up, character. being like called up for jury Wait. duty, and then having to fucking be like, oh no, this is my, this is my original Wait. knuckles. Like, fuck. Wait, this. guys, Penders never won his case. No. He, didn't. he never won the case. No. Nope. It's still on it's still an ongoing legal battle. Mm-hmm. But, but they like, still have to shill out royalties for Penders if they wanted they still had to shill out royalties to Penders if they wanted to use his characters. If they want to keep selling the comics, which is a thing that they're not doing anymore really. Like they're 
they're they they're taking the Archie Sonic comics off of like comicology and shit like that, so they don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, honestly, this is for the best. Yeah, and I think what and I think what Archie may be trying to do. I said this in the final hazard like chat that we have in the figure eight server and stuff. I said that I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to win this. They're trying to win this lawsuit. They're trying to win this case. So that when they get the money from Penders, that Penders has to shill out, just before that, they can, like, go fuck around, make deals with IDW to get, like, the Sonic the Hedgehog archives back on the show. Mm -hmm. Because that was the only way you could read the old, like, Archie stories without having to go, like, search for back issues from 1992. Yeah, like, individual issues. You have to get these giant tomes. These volumes of just like dozens of Archie stories. Garbage. Like... Yeah. <laughs> and they're trying, and I think they were trying to get those to IDW so they could resell those and like strike a deal. And then what I thought, because basically in this article from TSSZ, um, I think it's in the server. If somebody could like link that in the chat for me, I'd appreciate um, it. I'm heading over. Well, in, like, the stream chat for people. Right. Yeah. Um, the, the Twitter link? Yeah. Basically, Ken, Ken Penders damaged the relationship that Archie had with Sega because of the lawsuit. I can fucking imagine. So what I'm thinking is they're going to sue Penders. They're going to sue Penders' ass after this lawsuit's over for damages. And raking the dough. And raking the dough, basically. That's the Sega, yeah. Because, because they're like, because Archie's like, oh, you fucked us, you fucked our shit up. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, you fucked our shit up. I, so we're. Uh, no so rational jury could find in his favor on any claim in this case. That is fucking crazy. Because he's he's in the wrong. Like, just, why would you argue it? Why don't you go to house, like, close mind? Like, it has to be a joke. He wants, he, he want like, I guess he wants his creative shit. And, but, I thought that, I thought that Sega should have taken, should have hopped in this lawsuit the minute it started, because they technically own every single one of Pen Ken Pender's characters. Because this, Ken this Penders is shit. producing, yeah, like this Ken is Penders the shit is that producing he stories and characters for a licensed comic book. Therefore, you have no ownership from the start. But it's like fuck. As someone who knows nothing about the comics, do you think that this will happen with IDW in the future? I doubt it. It won't because Sega is very, is very Sega is very active. Be because this of this thing that happened. Yeah. IDW is not going to be like, you know, get too invested with these new characters that they have, you know, the Ian Flynn, whatever. Well, and it's. I think because you know, that's why they got that's why they got Ian Flynn. That's why they brought back Ian Flynn. I think in the first place. Because like, th what? Okay, again, the only perspective that I have is like from Martin's series, really, on the old ass comics. So, like, how far are you in in terms of, like, years right now? Like, Martin. Oh, God. I'm at, like, 1995. Okay, so in four years, they've literally made 200 fucking characters, from what I can gather. You know, well, and yeah, IDW yeah, have basically. made, like... Well, most of the IDW characters... have made, like, Tangle Whisper. Yeah. And the Platypus Doctor and, um, those two villains and shit. Yeah, I, Rough yeah. and Tumble and, um... And basically, like... But, like, a lot of those characters that, like, Archie was using in the early stories are carryovers from Sad AM. Mm -hmm. are and that's the problem. The shitty... Because the because the Sonic comics, because the Archie comics started out as a companion piece to the Sad AM books. Yeah, so, like, the first couple of issues of Archie Sonic, all the characters... Sally and Antoine and Bunny and Rotor, and they are from the cartoon. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, that's why they were able to carry over after this with the Mega Man crossover. But then you have Ken Penders introducing characters. It was mostly Ken Penders, but then I mean, Mike Gallagher had a couple, 
but yeah, I think they, that's the they, guy who took like Mammoth Mogul and shit like that. Oh god. Well, he but can it, fucking it, keep him. Well, she looks <laughs> ugly as fuck. And uh. But the thing is that then Ken Penner started introducing yeah. Jeffrey and the substitute freedom fighters like Hamlin, Larry Ling, and shit like that. Sally's brother and all sorts of crazy garbage. And the monkey guy who's the son Goku. I fucking oh! <laughs> wait, she wait, a monkey! Wait, did she they fuck the monkey? Wait, is, is there a, is there a Son Goku character in this? Yes, okay. his name is his name is Monkey Khan. His name is Ken. Well, like the Street Fighter? Okay. No, and it's Monkey Ken Khan. Khan. It's mo it's fucking Monkey, Monkey Khan. Khan. And he, he's and like he rides on he rides her, he has a fucking staff. Please and he please send me a, please send me a picture he, of this. He has a lot of stuff. Yo on Goku and Smash. There you go. He ride he, he rides around. He rides around on a fucking cloud, right? And he shoots down like thunder clouds and shit. He he's he's he so Goku from the Journey of the West. So he's just a He's raw. It's like he's raw though, like I think when he returned to the books, like under Flynn's control, he was raw as fuck. Um, mm -hmm, yeah. Until he decided, until he decided to fuck Sally Acorn. Um, your first mistake. How many times she does she fuck? Like Never she fuck fucks Sally Acorn. She fucks the skunk. She fucks the monkey. Okay, I hate him. She fucks Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> what is with that fucking like tumor coming off of the staff? Like what? On both sides? Come on, bro. It's, it's supposed to be like an effect, like a lightning effect. That that, that looks like a fucking like. Trans <laughs> that looks like a transparent puffer fish. What? Like what? <laughs> like what's going on? This is good. His his good. his feet. And big. My, my brain like wants to say he's big, just from like the whole. It's it's really like. That entire arc with like the ninja clans and shit makes me. Oh, the journey to the east. Yeah. Did they call it? Okay, what cancel? They call it journey to the east. They called it journey to the east. Fuck this. It's journey. It's journey to the east, right? And then you have like also these like, like basically, <laughs> there's an entire arc where like fucking I own like a few issues from it where like. Snively, fucking Snively Robotnik. <laughs> fucking Snively Robotnik. Snively Robotnik gets into like an online relationship with like a fucking. <laughs> he e dates, he e dates an evil queen. <laughs> an evil queen. Find from... me an e girl like. Me. He fucking e dates. He's e dating and he's like in his girlfriend. They they Eggman has a mental breakdown in between this point. Oh, I don't I don't blame him. Yeah. From from losing to Sonic all the time, he locks up. They lock up Eggman in a fucking cell in a in a fucking mental institution, straight jacket and all. And then, fucking Snively, calls out his flies out his girlfriend, flies out his girlfriend, right? Um, and then they try to take over fucking Knothole, which is the 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 play, which is the kingdom. Eggman land. City. Eggman land. Yeah. Is the kingdom slash city that um uh, fucking. Sonic and friends live in. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. So they fuck around. They fuck around and like. They they bring all these fucking weird ass like creatures, and shit. And then Monkey Khan comes back. But like, yeah, there it it goes deeper than that. But oh, and like it, during this whole thing, Sally and Sonic having a a a bit of a fight. Like their relationship is. What? It's not doing Because well. they broke up like 200. Yeah. They broke up like 100 issues ago. <laughs> yeah. Like, at this point. And then Sally just like basically starts dating Monkey Kong. And this is just like a whole. That's my main problem. Okay. This is my main problem with Jason Sonic. It's like you have all this action going on, and then just like off to the side. Oh, by the way, here's some melodrama for you. Did you know that uh, Sally thought that Sonic was dead while he was in space for a year, and now she's upset because oh, it's Sonic back, forces. But he wants to keep oh. fighting, and uh, and it's like, I don't stop. Please. Like, like who the fuck played Sonic Two and cared about this? Like who, who was, 
Because, <laughs> like, you said 1995, right? Yeah, that that's by like the, the comic the, started the in 1992. Yeah, yeah, but the comic like, started like right after. But like, like by that setting. point, like games wise, we had like four games. Yeah, we had I like think three and knuckles. Like too. I could understand all this crazy shit if like this was after like oh six maybe, and you know we had all these dumb characters that we had no most of to this do shit. With. Most of the most of the shit that we're talking about right now is post oh six. Yeah. This is all this is, like this is post mid 2000s. I I hate this man. Like, I'm pretty sure this arc is post unleashed. I think it is. I think that's like part of the point, like why they were doing the whole like journeying. Around. And they didn't. Un and they didn't fucking adapt unleashed until like 2017. So. <laughs> Look, 2015, yes. 2015. Because of this, I'm gonna start reading the IDW comics. Cause if if shit like this comes up again, oh, I'm a laugh. That <laughs> like I just see like I don't even care about the comics, right? But I see characters like Tangle and I see characters like Whisper, and it's like how the fuck did anyone get it so wrong before this? You know what I mean? Like this mm -hmm. should be, you know, I'm not amazingly impressed by them, but like to me, they're like the gold standard compared to these guys. They really, I mean, and I love Archie Sonic. I really do. Like, you know, as much as I shit on it, I do. But I will say that IDW is already, like, doing way fucking better than... It, starts, it started it, off weird for me, like, because I was expecting more, like... I was expecting, like, a bunch of people. Like, just a bunch of characters, you know, chilling. Mm -hmm. But not. But, I mean, you know, as long as they can avoid... Ch Charmy the bee, fourteen year old, sixteen with six year old mind. I'm I'm good with that. Like, honestly, this Thank just makes me want IDW to move away from forces, from like that aesthetic. That's what I. That's what I. That's what I want. Yeah. I want them to move away and move into their own original thing, because this is what, because I want to see how they handle, the kind of shit that Archie was doing, back in like the 90s to like 2000s with the hindsight to avoid yeah. that to avoid sonic fucking to basically. avoid <laughs> just everything Please. i just don't i just don't understand how people can can like appreciate sally acorn after she fucked the skunk i don't trust <laughs> her. Like, I, don't, I don't trust skunk. her she fucked the skunk see sally acorn is just ugly like she's just gross i i Wait. Ew, I hate her old design. Oh. What? I hate her old design with the fucking blue jacket and shit. Oh, Sally, yeah. With her fucking oh, nose, her she nose, has eyebrows. That, like, her nose it's, it's... that like extends into the stratosphere. I like I don't I don't like it, man. Sally did get a, a definite like glow up when they did the reboot. She she, she know, did. I've seen pictures, it. but like it's not that much better. I, th I still think it's pretty. I still think it's better. Like, I just you, know, you gotta understand what we had for so long. Wait, was... this... just... wait, what's like... this in the chat? Hold on. Sonic Armageddon, to... Ken Pender's movie pitch. Oh, oh yeah, oh, Jim wants no, me to talk no, about no, that. No. Okay, in two thousand and two. <laughs> in two thousand and two, Ken Pender's pitched to DreamWorks a. A, a Sonic movie called Sonic Armageddon. And I don't know anything about it, but the art is so it's so bad. And did it, looks it really didn't it have stupid. Fucking, like not it had like Holocaust fucking poems and shit. Yeah, it was really like. I... <laughs> oh no! I want to die. Yeah, no, this sucks. I. <sighs> But but honestly, like this has got better like motion graphics than the Sonic YouTube channel. Like I wish I was joking, but like at least things move. You know what I'm saying? What is that? Did you just oh, post I it? forgot. That's how he fucking drew Sonic characters. Yeah, his oh, art. Oh, they're so not, ugly. Not to be any sort of way. Ken Penders. Like his art is so bad. It's, it hurts. <sighs> yeah, no, it, it looks like those how to draw anime books that were in like the middle school libraries. Like, like I don't. Why has SBO got orange shoes? Why? 
he can draw he can draw real people like like he can draw humans very like really good but these anthro like cartoony fuckers no but it seems like that's what he wants to draw that's what he is the anthro that's what he wants fucker. to draw he wants to draw that's Lara Sue because he's reached I don't niche. like that oh my god oh, oh awful oh my god <laughs> <laughs> It's just like oh the, God. see, I, I think it's because of like the brushes that he uses and the lighting. It's, just, it's really weird. It's very strange. I'm gonna just keep, I'm gonna just. No, I'm me... blocking you. I don't need to no. see this. Oh my. The fucking. The bikini. People the draw pawn of this. Have you realized that? Bro. Like, that's crazy. Bro. Okay. This is the. Graphic design is my passion starter kit by Ken <laughs> Penders. Shattered mirror, no shattered tomorrow. I I hate Sonic, man. Like all this is because of fucking Yuji Naka. Like he started it. It's all your fault. <laughs> we we all know that Yuji Naka is to blame for everything. Sonic was a mistake. I, I, I fucking I said this on I said this on, we we've said this on the podcast way m more times than I think we can count. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I, I am just wait! Like... wait 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 waiting wait, wait. that that poster that you just posted in the chat, Martin. I'm I'm reading it. Meet Julie Sue's half sister. There isn't a line or dead body she wouldn't cross. Lien Da. Was it Lien Da like Knuckles' cousin? Okay, I think so. I think just I don't call remember what her deal was. I think she was like hold on. I have I have the uh the, the family tree. Let me just give it. You do realize because that there's a name called if fucking. If you tell me if you if you tell me if you tell me right now that Knuckles is a cousin fucker. I'm going to fucking no, explode. No, listen. Okay, Julie. Okay. So they, I think he like completely did the whole family tree going on in uh, in Lara Sue Chronicle because Ju Leanda is Julie Sue's like aunt, but is like a I don't know. She's like a some weird shit going. On. But like. My biggest question is, why don't you just call her Linda? That's a real person's name. No, Linda. Why? You yeah, know what I Knuckles mean. was called? He was called Knuckles. Because he fucking Should punches shit. And he has a big ass, two, two big ass fucking fists. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't call him fucking Red A. It's just some shit. Wanda Raw. I hate. <laughs> Get out of my ear. I. Oh my god, one of these names is Reggie Na. Like Regina, but Reggie Dash Na. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my it's god! Like... Ew! Jeffrey St. John! Oh, I love Jeffrey St. John. Don't get me started. Oh my god! Why is he in Larisu Chronicle? Because that chipmunk he... fucker! Because Holy awesome. shit! I don't know what's worse, honestly, like, on either you, side of it, like... I hate you! I'm taking away your mod! Like, who... <laughs> who who would fuck... Okay, like, who would fuck a chipmunk, or who would fuck a skunk? Like, what's the worst side to be on? Sonic the Hedgehog! That's who?! Fuck! The chipmunk fucked the skunk. Well, the skunk also fucked a cat. So, wait, what's this new development with this insane man? Like, what, what, like, what's he doing because nowadays? Ar because Archie is now filing a motion for summary. For summary on the case. Oh. They're trying to put this shit to bed. Ken Penders has, Ken Penders and his legal team have until March 6th to respond. That, that's, that's, that's what we at right now. I hope this is actually a new fucking article, and I'm not fucking stupid. That, yeah. Oh my god! Martin! Why'd you post the foot fetish pawn he drew? <laughs> it's fucking Eggman! It's, it's Eggman! Why she got four toes? Why? She only has four toes. Why is she crying? No, I... 
Why are her eyes like whited out? She's yeah. she's fucking broly. No, mode. she's laughing. Her eyes are closed. What is with her mouth? I couldn't tell. Her, she's um... coming. Okay, so we're gonna finish this episode here. Holy shit! We have to stop now. Wait. Before I before I continue, and I will continue. We'll see everyone. I don't know. Ken Penders killed my dog. Extingu fucking burnt my crops. And and destroyed my Sonic comics. I will never forgive. You me. can find us. You can find us in the description, as we always uh be uh. Fucking. Yes. Please follow at Luchube underscore on Twitter. Please. Oh yeah, my Twitter got blown away. So you know. That's sad. Since the last Give him his episode, clout. I need all the clout I can get. I'm upset. Everyone follow Ken Penders at what's his at at Ken Penders on Twitter. Follow Ken Penders on Twitter. You can read the Lars Few Chronicles. How much, how much uh, Avengers Endgame? I'm uh, following him. I'm, give, I'm giving him a follow. What's he tweeting? Remember that um uh, apparently Ken Penders is a better writer than um Ian Flynn. Um, so he's a grandfather. <laughs>